Hey guys, have you ever wondered what you need to know to be an epoxy pro? Stay tuned. You're going to learn right now on Epoxy Live the tips, tools, and tricks from how to take your business to the next level. Stay tuned. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Enjoy the live show. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey guys, welcome to Stone Coat Countertop Live Show. Are you stoked? So excited. It's going to be a, such an exciting show. We are back. We are ready to rock. Yeah. Uh, we, we had a great time. If you haven't seen our, our video on the Grand Canyon, was that amazing? It was so beautiful. We were so excited. We, we kind of had a, a great idea. I thought it was a great idea that we go and get some inspiration for that. We've been going to different locations and trying to bring you guys the best videos possible and out there. And we Don't you. lie. I mean, we totally wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. That was a fun trip. Never been there before and it was I mean, it was, it was gorgeous. I know it was crazy, and and we've been trying to. But what we, but our goal with those type of experiences is to get you guys to think, what's going on around me? What can I find inspiration from? So that's kind of our our exciting thing for that. Mitch, did cool you uh, did you see that video? Did you see the Grand Canyon? I did see the video. It was awesome. Good job. I wish I was in the helicopter with you. That was but, fun, hey, that man. piece turned out awesome, man. Yeah. Super. I got to give Mitch, uh, Mitch mad props for the video. Uh, Chris, what you guys did while we were gone, outstanding. Uh, this, this That was a great job. Um, guys, do me a favor. If you guys like this live show, crush that like button. Help us get higher in the queue. Let's do that maintenance right now and go hit that like right. button. We have a special guest for them today, right? I mean, we have a... Uh, uh oh, what's that? What's going on? Chris Chris, Chris left my cell phone and, and now it's going off. <laughs> so I guess, I guess enjoy, That's enjoy, live. Yeah, enjoy enjoy the music. Oh but you want to talk about music. You know, Mitch was we've been trying to get him to sing on, on our, our videos and he was not so thrilled that you did that to him. But last week, if you didn't catch it, he kind of brought it himself out and started singing on the live. I loved that. I was like, go Mitch. Go well, all Mitch. I know is Mitch, uh, you just don't force Mitch to do what he doesn't want to do. So you don't. I'm going to leave the singing up to him, right, I know. Mitch? Even if it's my backup. <laughs> uh, okay, if you guys haven't been on the Stone Coat Countertop Insiders group, you need to check that out. First of all, that was kind of a beta for our company. We didn't know how that was going to look, how it was going to work out, and we are absolutely grateful for what's been going on on the Stone Coat Countertop Insiders Group found on Facebook. Uh, in the description, you'll find that link. Go ahead and you know ask to join that group, and we'll, we'll get you right on that. But one of our most pro prevalent members, should go we, ahead. So should we tell them, so the Insiders Group was, the idea behind that was that we have creators just like you that get on there and share your different content. So if you were creating a piece or you have ideas for a piece, or maybe you had an amazing story that you just can't, you know, really get your friends to really truly understand how awesome it is, the Insiders Group is for you. And we have someone that I am so excited to introduce today. She truly is the heart for that group. And I'm not gonna get emotional. So. I'm so thrilled to invite her on. Would you like to do that? Yeah, I do. Uh, you can't come on yet. Okay, so uh, she's over here anxiously awaiting. She's and super she's a nervous. Bit nervous. So give her some love. I want you guys to shout that out. Throw in a throw in a comment. Well, they don't know you, who it is yet. If so, you can appreciate drum roll. Yeah. Come on, mom. Get out yeah. here. Get out here. So, so uh, give it up for it. give it up for Mama Q right here. So, mom, first of all. You've seen uh, you've seen what we've done over the last ten years in in, in learning our craft, and you've been a, a giant part of that. Yeah. Well, I've tried to be a giant support. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Any anybody in the in the audience right now, you know what a support system is, and and my mom uh, couldn't be more of a supportive human being. Um, you really uh, every one of your kids' aspirations and what they go for, you really support that. Not only that, but you got your hands dirty with epoxy for a while now, right? I did, I did, and my house was kind of a guinea pig. I've got beautiful countertops in my bathroom and my kitchen, <laughs> yes. and they still look great. Yes, you do, <laughs> and, you've, and you've made some art. I've you've made art. art. And, and how do you like working with the product? I love it, I love it. I was terrified yeah. at first, yeah. but 
as I started going, I think even you were surprised. You'd come over to check on me in a couple days, and I, my whole family room was covered with art pieces. Well, you so. were having me make your canvases, and I'm like, dang, Mom, like, how many of these are you going to make? Because you would <laughs> fill them up. <laughs> and, and then you, you went to little shows, and you were selling yeah, your art, yeah. and you, you put it in some galleries, right? I or some did. local and shops. And now your sister, who has the uh, tattoo shop, she wants me to make some stuff things to put in her shop. Nice, for sale. nice, right on. So uh, I really just want to say I love you and thank you. Oh. And what my mom does on the Insiders Group, uh, what is your title in that? What, what What's your name on Facebook? My name on Facebook is Margaret Quist. All right, so That's if you guys see Margaret Quist, this is, this is her in living color right well, now. Well, I have to say something really quick. I am amazed at what you people share and you show and all your talents and you're free with your color recipes. And I'm sitting here thinking last night, I, I have ladies that won't share their mac and cheese recipe with me. <laughs> and you guys are so generous with all your knowledge and... I mean, from light switches to clocks to countertops to toilet seats, everything is epoxied. And I am so grateful to just be a tiny little part of that. And I used to be able to make comments on everybody, but now we've reached over 6,000 members. So I'm doing my best to keep up with all of you, and thank you for letting me be a part of that. Yeah, the best part about that group that we have enjoyed watching with that mom isn't that that they support you guys support one another. Oh yes, and I think that that's one of the most special things that you can have when you are willing to share what you've learned and help build and give support to the people who are also doing those things. That's what we thrive with. That's what makes us go. Who is that next? You know, who's bringing us to that next level? And we. Our insiders, boy, you guys are amazing. And if you're not an insider yet, make sure you go on our Stone Coat Countertops Facebook page, and you can request that, and we will approve you as long as you're yes, not crazy. Yes, I'm the one that presses the all approve buttons, and I approve just about everybody. Yeah, so, so get on there. Yeah. Well, all right. Speaking of Stone Coat Countertops, wait, 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 wait! Don't, oh, don't show it. Don't show it. I want to wait to the end. I, the, that, this is a special one. Okay. <laughs> this is a special one. Um, so I want to wait to the end on that. We we are going to announce the uh, announce the insider of the week. It's it's our you got this award. Uh, but we wanted to talk about some of these um, mica flakes. Catherine, do you want to show the mica flakes off while sure. I go over here and mix this so sure. it's not too loud? Mitch, where do you want me to go? Uh, you can click on over to Google oh. and get a good shot of them. We have okay. a ton. What about a right know, overhead? I wanted to explain. We have a ton of mica flakes that. Uh, we've been we've been stocking now, and we really really haven't showcased them in a video, so we're going to show them Not really, what all right? these can do. So, oh, I see what you're saying. So these are a bunch of our mica flakes. They're not. I don't know if everything's there. Yeah, we're going to do that. So I'm just going to show a couple of our favorite ones, but you guys can choose. So here's some black. Um, we have the reflective pearl. This one just man, that one when you get this in different pieces, it just pops. It's kind of translucent, but it just pops that. There's gunmetal mica. Am I not even? Oh, sorry. We we do we are working around that. Mom, you mind if I just no no okay. Put me where you want me. All right, here we go. So it'll focus in a second. There we go. So there's gunmetal mica. You can kind of see the size does vary. Then it has the crushed pearl. This one is awesome. It's electric blue. And do you see how bright that is, Miss? Isn't that cool? Do you see how the light just catches that and it just jumps off that? So when you when you look at that, we, when we try to do our pictures, uh, here's a copper. This is Copper Canyon. And you can see with what the light will do. Just to have that reflective in different ways is really neat. People keep asking for different purple, especially my Shay. She's with us tonight helping answer questions in there. And I want to give her a shout and Patrick. The lavender? Yeah, open it and show it. The, the bag is giving it a pretty good reflection. Okay, cool. Can we there do that? There we go. That's the money shot. Let's see. I'm trying Too to get close. close. Too close. Right there. Okay. It's actually purple. It's a lavender. It's a deep lavender. Show that blue or gold up to open it up. All right. I'm going to give the... Awesome. This is the Southwest Desert. So this is the one that I would have used for a... <clears throat> the Grand Canyon style. Oh, yeah. East. You see how beautiful that is? I also want to give a shout out to my girl Cody. She helps me all the time and tomorrow is her birthday 
And since I have a minute, I'm just going to give her a little shout. She makes things happen around here, and we appreciate all of our team. They're amazing, and we're grateful for them so much. Here's a bronze. Isn't that beautiful? Mitch, you had such a good idea to open the bag. Good job. Thank you. I was actually, you. A, uh, uh, I was going to say, but I didn't have the courage until somebody on here said it. So. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. So this is titanium. Isn't that beautiful? That one's cool. Whoever that said that, thank you. That made our lives so much better, right? Isn't that beautiful? Put one of these on that. Right, and let's see. I'm gonna do one of our silvers because we're the sea glass. Actually, this is almost. It's Have a, you showed gold rush yet? I think uh, not yet. I will get that up there. That one's. Cool. This is the sea glass. sea glass. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gonna make whatever you put that on just so pretty. I'll do gold. You've got gold rush, Mitch. That's your favorite one. Yeah, I like that gold rush. Okay, yeah. no, one, more. I'm one, one more minute, honey. So here's our gold rush. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And one more. We're going to do a silver and then I'll move those off. How about that? And. All right, you got clean hands. This one's silver side. We use this Wait, actually in quite these? a bit of different pieces that we use. Yeah. So you can just see the, the color just is question. amazing for that. You got a good question? Yeah, so. <clears throat> Adrian Rodriguez, when I used the mica flakes, I had a hard time getting them to spread across my substrate. Any tips for this? Yeah, that's a great question, and we're actually going to show some really good techniques with those mica flakes tonight. Um, if you look at this piece right behind me, right here, this is all done with mica flakes and glitter. It's, it's a really outstanding technique. It's the same way we do uh, one of our videos is called Classic Quartz. It's all done with mica flakes over a painted substrate. So. This piece right here, all we did is add, we call it uh, transformer oatmeal. We did, uh, we did like um, crushed pearl, we did silver, we did uh, silver glitter, and we did black glitter. We mixed it all together and boom, that's what we got. But the key with that is two coats. You gotta do your first coat with all your mica and you're gonna have these high points and, and, and little mountains and peaks sticking up. And that's okay, that's totally normal. Uh, Mom, have you done anything with mica flakes yet? No. You're about to, you're, so, so when Is that why you made me put these gloves on? Oh, you're, get, are you sweating, are you nervous we under should, those gloves? We no, a little bit. I'm fine. So <laughs> with, with these mica sticking up, what, what we're gonna find is when you do that second coat, that's when it lays out totally flat. Right. So we're gonna show you the colors, we're gonna do a bunch of different ones tonight, and then we'll show you, why don't we show them on the Facebook group what it looks like with the second coat, and we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. But that's just one thing we're doing in the show tonight. We got some major surprises, really cool things coming up, so don't leave early, you're gonna miss out if you do. Right. Uh, hey, let's see, where are we going? Let's do this, let's go ahead and show our new glitter because we have a new glitter that we're going to showcase tonight. This is our new color. Yes. Once we try really hard to give you a new color a week for the next little while. So this is, uh, Mitch, I'm going to go overhead here. Is that cool? Uh, I would do it on B. B. Open it right, up and show here. B. Yeah, Open. Yeah, Why don't you show that, Catherine? Okay. So I don't even know how to describe this other than it's really a uh, very reflective. Well, it, look, it's, it shows. It's, it's a holographic. Know. Microscopic. It's, it's, so, we, we've so tested fine. this and love it. Um, I don't even know what to name this though. Let's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this natural gray base and then that will showcase the color. Uh, Mom, do you love this show or what? I do love this show. <laughs> I kind of, I mean, I'm with two YouTube stars. I'm oh, goodness, good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of this. So just like we usually do, and not always, but... Mom, can you pour half of that in there? A lot of times we'll ask for your help. So we, we're going to show you what it looks like here, but help us name that. We really, really love that you guys get into it, that you're helping us create, helping us come up with those names. So as we're doing it, I want you to be thinking, what do you think we should call this so that we, we can get that out to you? And thank you so much for everybody that always contributes to that. So go ahead and type it up and, pour and some let us know in that one. what How you guys much? think. Here, we're actually going to do a little bit more. Um, Pour a lot. Let's 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 a rock. Lot? No, What's yeah, a I don't lot? know. You can always take more out. I'll I'm tell you what. Two tablespoons. That's enough. No, I'm just I'm totally kidding. Ooh, no. You can keep going. <laughs> I'm a cook. That's a good option. That's good. Yeah. So, when my mom yeah, talk about Thanksgiving, like how does my okay. mom cook? So let me tell you about Thanksgiving. At Thanksgiving, at, at their home, they usually have anywhere between. Now we have about what 40 to 50 people at Thanksgiving because we have a huge family. So Mike and Mitch are fam a family of six. There's six kids and they all have not only spouses but oh kids. Oh Isn't that look insane? Look at how pretty, how pretty that yeah. is. I'm getting Sorry distracted. To no, I love that. Um, and so when Mike and I first got married, that was over 15 years ago, 
Mike's favorite thing to eat at, at Thanksgiving and Christmas is stuffing. So just so that you know. And Margaret has the best recipe ever. I'll and share so, it. Oh, good. Except yeah, but you don't know how She doesn't much. know it. I'm the only one that knows it because I sat down and mom is an amazing cook, but she throws stuff in. She's one of those type of cooks. And so I literally, she's like starting to throw things in and I'm trying to grab measuring cups and teaspoons and all this stuff to try to measure about That's what it good. was. And we did that for a couple years in a row and now I make decent stuffing. So one thing, so, so yeah, just throw it on the table. So one thing that you can do when you're mixing in glitter to see how transparent it is, just stick it on that stick and let it run down and you'll really see what the color, you know what? This Let's color, this, this, this will look good on that. Um, this looks beautiful. What, what, what I wanted to reiterate about that question on the mica flakes, okay when you spread, uh, no, because I want them to get the real sense of the color because this okay. is close to white. Um, one, you know what though, it will look better. It'll on look that. better yeah, on the let's tan. Let's do it. Let's do, I'm sorry let's guys. Let's do it. Uh, so when you're doing the mica flakes, we still <laughs> use the trowel, we still trowel it out and we still chop it. The reason we do that is that's how you get an even coat. If you mix all the micas in your clear epoxy, don't add color, just put it in straight clear, trowel it out, chop it, walk away, come back the next day, sand the high points off, and do another clear coat. That's how you get a really even spread of a, all those ingredients. If you try to broadcast it on the surface, it doesn't look it doesn't look even. It looks kind of man-made, so that's why we do it this way. And that's why we always pre-color our base bases with the bare paint and primer in whatever wow. color we want wow. to be okay. that neutral color. The whole thing. Honey, we need a brush. Sure. I'll I totally forgot. The whole thing. Yeah, put it right in the middle, Mom. So people have a tendency to kind of do what you're doing, yeah. but the problem with that is we are going to mix this mass of epoxy together, which kind of ensures that it's all mixed well enough. So if if you did the little snake, oh my goodness, look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> oh my Just, goodness. We're done. Yeah, like that's done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a pretty color. Help us name this. And the reason we put it over this darker board is that just tends to be more this family of color right. anyway. So we, we'll give them a real sense of what that looks like. So it I'm looked just kind of bronze and now it's looking kind of so I'm, I'm going to um, get it close to the edges, but not go over those edges all the way. You don't want to dump all your epoxy right off the edge, right? No. Now what's so beautiful about this is if you're a beginner and you're just trying to do one project or, or you're trying to make a backdrop for another project or you're trying to do your own counters, there, there are different levels of difficulty and I'd say this is a level one, right? This oh, is, yeah. This is yeah. super easy. Anybody can do this. Perfect. All right. Let me okay. see that. Back. You want to chop that out? And I got, I got, can you see how insane that is? Oh, it's, it's going to oh be, my it's gosh. Gonna be awesome. It's just so pretty. Doesn't it's it remind pretty. you of like champagne, Mom? I'm not a drinker. It reminds me, it of, reminds me of champagne. <laughs> I'm not a drinker either. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't look like champagne, I think. I think it looks I think it looks. And there's the mother-daughter relationship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, so this sure is, terrified me. And he made me start that thing up. You got to do that. But that I've gotten used to it. But he still Mom's talking about the torch. <laughs> the torch. The torch. Right. So just go in. You de-shed your brush. You make sure you prime it so it doesn't pull the product off. That's what I did before we got started here. Mitch has that overview camera going, so... Couldn't see me do that, but I want to make sure that he lets that. you know that you really no. want to make sure to Just prime your brush ahead of time. Now, should I get all the front? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Usually we walk all the way around and do all that, but this is cool. All right. So we just chopped it out. Look at how pretty that is. If you want. Can you torch that out too? Yeah. Yep. So if you want to, um, you can create textures or striations with it, you can kind of create that directionality if you choose. So it's really not a big deal, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Picked up that color That's from simple. underneath really isn't good. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. And if you, you know, if you want, if this isn't enough color, like concentrated, you can always put in more glitter. If you wanted it a little bit less, you can do less glitter. But you can see, um, kind of with that, I think maybe the overhead is, yeah, that's a good one, Mitch. You can kind of see how beautiful that will pick up from across the room as you walk into your camera tops. Is that gorgeous? I have a question. Okay, grab I have a question. Mom has a question. Any tips from the cameraman? I get so many people on Insider saying, 
my product looks so much better than the pictures. I can't get good pictures, and they're real reflective. Right. The, what, what's an idea? The reflection. The reflection is always going to be an issue. So, if you can't get a good shot when it's wet, if it's an art piece or whatnot, wait till it dries. You can give it a little tilt, get the reflection off it. You got to play with the overhead lights because it's going to reflect like crazy. That is an ongoing you know, thing. Just angle my, your cell phone to the proper angle to get the reflection out of there, and you'd be surprised. Right. My art, oh, it would do it better the next Sorry. day, dry in yeah. kind of a dark room. But still, sometimes I showed up on my pictures. Yeah. So we had a question about how to spread the mica flakes, Mom. What we did here is we're using electric blue mica flakes. Uh, these are just, look at how it looks inside there. Wow. So this would be a really fun color for sure, something. That's B-roll, Mike. This would be a really fun color for oh. something. This is not just electric. Oh, the actual bag, is that what you're saying? Or the, the stuff. You're, you're out of the shot completely, though. She showed oh, that Catherine, already. You're good at that. Why don't you, why don't you help me out there? Are you trying to see the epoxy I would show the image? epoxy. Yeah, here. Oh. Drizzle that. Oh, so all you just need to do is angle it to the camera, Mike. Oh, right there here. Go. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry. So there's, there's, you can't really see it yet, I'm but I'll, I'll, I'm going to pour it out on the surface here. But what we're using, let me see that. Okay. We're using electric blue, we're using gunmetal, and we're using crushed pearl. Okay, so I just mix those three together. Okay, and I'm just going to pour this out right on that surface. Now, doesn't that look like, like crazy right now, right? It's yeah. just, but, uh, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like my back seat when my kids leave the crayons in the back seat. You know, like you get in the back and you just want to cry because you're like, what just happened? But now the, the, but teeth, the teeth of your trowel, they kind of feel granule a little bit. Uh, perfect, Mitch, thanks. They, they feel like you're kind of, it's weird, but when you chop it out, it gets rid of any rows. Like, look how cool that's already looking. Another thing that's nice to put here is glitter. If you add a little glitter, now you got large particle and small particle, and it gives it just more. Um, yeah, I'd add some glitter. Well, we're too late we're now. Out. If I want to do that, I could, I could scoop it out. But tonight wow, we're, we're that showcasing. Is crazy. Yeah, watch what this looks like. So I'm just see how it is getting hung up in the teeth a little bit. But when we chop it out, that's how you get it really, really even. Mm -hmm. And the more you put in, the harder it's going to be to trowel it out. But that's okay. This is still a great way to get it all mixed up. Reminds me those floors they put in the terrazzo floors. Yes. Yeah, those are those are cool. The old 50s. So something else to look at too is Mike was talking about the different sizes of um, of the good night mica flakes. You can see those sizes on our website. So you'll want to pick depending on the project you're doing. You'll probably want to pick one or two larger pieces or styles, maybe a couple medium, and then like he said, some that. glitter or something. That way you have a lot of variation when you're doing your top. So mom's just chopping away. I'm good at chopping. She is good at chopping. Chop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good chopper? Yeah, I like it. So okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this a little bit more. So I got a lot of mica in here, but I'm going to just smooth some of this out. And you could even just move some of them where you want them. Right. You know, play with it. There's a little bit left in here if you need to fill in. I'm just going to kind of go in where it's, there we go. See how I'm just kind of spreading those out a little bit where it may be a little thin. Oh, this is going to be, this is a cool counter right here. I mean, this would be fun for certain situations or company colors or even a kid's playroom or a, 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 a crazy fun bistro. Who knows? I mean, it'd be a lot of fun. Or just my to, bathroom. You like don't a, like your bathroom counter? Well, though? it's time for a That's change. I'll <laughs> just redo it. Oh, uh, good water. point, Mom. <laughs> you are totally right. Yeah, she... One of my I favorite changed things my too. shower curtain. I might want to change my counter. Oh, so to go. go over an old existing countertop, just lightly sand, and you're ready to go with another coat of epoxy. There you <laughs> go, Mitch. That's so right. our Grand Canyon top showcased that, right? All right, Mom and Catherine, you got to pick out our next set of colors for what what you're gonna do. Actually, Mom, you got to pick it. Yeah, look, I got to pick it. You got to pick it. Okay, now this you know, is everybody's asking for greens. Sea glass. I like oh. that sea glass. Mitch, yeah. can you get in this picture? What, what I would like to one? show is, you know how we were talking about how sometimes... One? What do you think? 
Okay. Overhead. So sometimes I wanted think? to try to get the B shot. Can you, you see go. how some of it's still risen up? Can you see well, that at all? Big one. Yeah, you can't really tell on camera too Okay, well. so there's just a few pieces. I guess what I was trying to get to let you know is that that's completely normal. So there was just a little bit of high spots. It's not going to hurt that at all, just like we were talking about earlier today. Okay. Okay. That would be good on black. That'll be that'll that'll showcase. Cool. Do you want me to move this mic? Did you leave um, the witness? I did lead the witness. <laughs> <laughs> I did lead the witness. I know. Everyone keeps saying green, green. This will be another week. No, we'll do sea glass. We can like do it tonight. Sea glass. But it's not going to show up on black. No, it's not. Right? I didn't realize you were doing black. I did, wasn't listening. I led the witness. I'm That's sorry. I'm right. like, Mom, pick it. And then I made you pick it. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm used to this. All right, Catherine, you want to add these and do this one? It's an insight for Mom. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? We're going to... colors are going here, Mom? This is, uh, this is our Copper Canyon. And then we're going to go bronze. And then we're going to go Gold Rush. So what I'll do, Mitch, is in a second I'll put them in... Uh, I'll put him up by B so you guys can see the inside and See, I let him think he was leading me. You like it though, huh? I do like it. I didn't realize it was going to be don't it, honey. You're perfect. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So, Mom, what's been your favorite thing about the Insiders group? I feel like I'm making friends. And, you know, I wasn't raised in this Facebook. I still do all my... You guys, if you see mistakes, it's because I'm using my pointer finger. I can't do this thumb thing. And I just am amazed, I just, of uh, meeting people, not face to face, but you get a, an idea of their personalities, you get an idea of their family situation, it's just uh, really a special thing for me. I'm just really enjoying it. In fact, Can I, uh, I can't get away from it, I'm staying up too late. <laughs> right, and you're, my mother tags me in all these uh, posts for help along the way, which is awesome, but... I'm getting tagged at 1, 2 in the morning. I got to sleep. <laughs> Mom, what are you right. doing? Like, you <laughs> you work. Mitch, do you want to show this on me just so like, you get an idea of what right up. So we We're kind of zoomed in. Let me back it out. Oh, I can do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, pretty. Back yeah. out some a little more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, it's just not focused. Well, my going. most important job there you go. Stone so you can kind of see what those are. I'm the babysitter for their youngest. No. You're our nanny. A grandma nanny is my favorite thing. So the only reason oh. that I can come and Mike can come and be able to work here is because of Margaret. She is my son, is two and a half, and that is his best friend. We talk about yes. that, and even when mommy's home, by the end of the day, he goes, I want to go see my grandma's house. <laughs> so we're really, he loves what? it. What? We love it. Look at Whoa. this. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That oh looks my. like granite. Now, do you like the color choice? I do like the color choice that I really did think of, but you okay. just you did kind of think said of it, it first. Totally. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a different trowel because this has some electric blue on it. Yeah. Where are the trowel? Right there. Okay, and I'm going to get you a, a brush ready. Whoa, here. wow. So you can often use your same, like when you're creating sample pieces, many times you can use the same chop brush just to kind of go different pieces. If they are similar in color, um, however, just like we just went from that blue and black and white to this totally different color scheme of the uh, coppers and gold and, and bronze, you wouldn't want to use the same brush in that one. So we, we went ahead and I got a new one out. Um, we're de-shedding it here. Man, if, you, if you're in a business doing this, these are, this is such an easy technique that um, really, really will be consistent for you. So if you had a, a sample board that you showed somebody, your sample's gonna look like your sample board if you just use the same colors, right? So See, when you pick those, I was afraid there wouldn't be enough contrast. They'd all kind of look the same, but each one has its own specific color. And they're a little different and they're sizes, They're all different too, right? sizes. They're that, all different yes. shininess. Right. You know, do you know how long we sit there and play with colors and really pick what we want to use for countertops and things like that when we're really deciding which ones that we're going to tell people about because they look awesome. Oh, I know because your pops comes home. Oh my gosh, they picked another color. Now they got a big group on the shelf. <laughs> Dad's got an inventory all the way. Yes, he does. Right. Look at this. Right. this okay, we got to torch this out. You want to do it? Go for it. Right. Thank you. Make sure we get those. So. 
Is that overhead showing? Oh, that's a good, yeah, that shows oh, kind of. Oh, yeah. And what we'll do, hey, Chris, can you come over here? I, got, I want to introduce you guys to somebody who's been extremely, not only helpful, but now he's crucial. Let's get, let's get right here, Chris. Well, I'm going to let you do that. Can All right, cool. Can so, so this is Chris. Chris, uh, what do you do for Stone Cold Countertops, man? I'm video editor, cameraman. Um, yeah, that's that's the job description, right? Yes, it is. I think this week that's your job description. Okay, right? cool. But uh, Chris, uh, Chris has really been helping us get the content out. He's uh, he really said, hey, Mike, we got to let the insiders know what we're doing every day. Get in touch with them. Give them the tips and tricks. So he's forcing me to get on those insiders and tell them yes. how to make sure you're ready for the winner, right? Get on those insiders. <laughs> I love that video. That's Did you see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right on, right on. So if you guys saw that uh, video on the insiders about um, getting ready for winter, let us know if that's what you're looking for. And let us know other things that you're looking for, and we'll answer those too. But, Chris, I just wanted to give... Give Chris a big shout out. He uh, he's going to be going. We're we're actually going to do a project coming right up with uh, one of one of our real um, somebody who's been with Stone Coat Countertops on YouTube since the beginning. His name's Tony Fam. He's yeah. Uh, I've, I've mentioned him in other videos. He really kind of took us under his wing and said your videos are horrible and they need to get better. <laughs> and and I listened to Tony and Tony really took us by the hand and said here's what you need to do. So we're going down to meet him. And we're going to do a video with him on one of his expertises. And Chris, you're going with us and going to shoot that whole thing. Right. So we're excited. So Tony, how are we doing now? Yeah, yeah. what's up, Tony Fam? What's Tony up? Fam, what's up now? That's, That's not going. this Saturday, but next we'll be down to yeah. meet Tony oh, Fam in, in living color. I, on, I talk on, to him all the time. On many of our videos, you'll see Tony Fam's comment. He'll be the first one. He'll say first comment. <laughs> I love it. He's Good. he's got technology dialed, man. Right. This is this is cool. So before we do our next one. Um, why don't we go ahead, Mitch, and talk about the? Uh, why don't we bring out uh, the the, uh, the insider? So, so this particular one that we're going to talk about the the uh, the, the award. You're, we're on live. You got I'm this. The you got this. Oh, sorry, got this I had a brain fart. I, I was Chris. Thank you. You're, you're oh, making me nervous. You got to go sit down. There's okay. too many. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, yeah, right? So, uh, the the insider of this week. First of all. Amazing, amazing showcase of what you did. You made a video and a, a, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words and a video's worth a million, right? I mean, you literally get to see her work up close and personal and-, and So we gave it, a hint, it's a her. It is a her and she <laughs> is, um, is very talented. She's obviously watched the videos because she's using very similar techniques that we show and so we're totally proud of that. But what you did and what you've created is outstanding. Mitch, you want to talk about it and show, I show it? So today's Stone Coat Countertop, you got this winner, Yay. is Ginger Bowman. Good work. You shared, like Mike said, this waterfall table here. Not just pictures, but a video. This post right here has 483 likes on your pictures. You did such a good job with the lighting. That table next to the couch is awesome. Way to go. I mean, stuff, oh, looks like the audio does come up. So, I mean, you, 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 took, you took it a step above and when you saw the reaction of everybody and all the questions, you, you kept posting and giving more information and walking people along it. Uh, that's amazing and we really appreciate that. So Ginger Bowman, you got this. Give us a call, give us an email. Uh, we'll get your package sent out to you right away. Thank you so much for all your support. Wasn't this one of her first projects too? It was. Yeah, that's what amazed me. Ginger, that was an amazing project. So impressive. I love um, the walk around the house. Like I love, this is my first, this is my second. I loved it. Like it was just, it just made me smile. It felt like my house actually. It was great. <laughs> Good job. All right, so check these colors out right here. So over the suede gray, this is a paint primer one. It's suede gray. We're using lavender. This is a really, look at that color, guys. It's, yeah, it's got beautiful. a little bit of, wouldn't you say that that's the appropriate name for it? Can you see it? Put it in the light. Now, do you see that little purple in there? Yeah, I do. So we got some lavender. It's not a bright lavender. It's kind of right, on the, right. the deep part. Less and sheen. The thing that I like about our mica flakes is they're actually made from mica rock. They're made from stone and they're very thin. And we really wanted to choose appropriate particle size so that it looks really good. We got uh, lavender. We got antique bronze. 
this is one of my favorite new ones. Right. Black obsidian. Like, we don't like black at all, right? Right. It's not <laughs> and, our color. But it's slimming. And then uh, silver side mica flakes. Ooh. So, silver side? Silver side. We love silver side. That's one of our favorites. All right, honey, you want to mix that up? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's rock it out. You need a roller? Where's our... Here, we could just wipe this one down, and then you could use that. Keep it right there. Okay. So I just get all that off, see how clean that is? Cool. Boom, you're ready. Okay. You know, because these are really hard to get your hands on. Right. <laughs> right. They're not free. Just kidding. I'm teasing. All right, so... Again, when you're mixing uh, when you're mixing mica flakes up, they're really easy to mix. There's there's not uh, but when we do a big job, we're gonna have it in our two quart bucket. If you're gonna do multiple pours, that's when you got to get a little bit more picky on how you're how you're spreading that out. Um, so, you, so you really would want to measure those and, and either do like teaspoons or or like you could put a little dash on one of your cups, and that's what you can use to measure the appropriate amount and pour each each one of those in a certain predetermined. Um, measurement like if you're going to do two quart um, containers at a time have your your plan if you do a sample board first that's even better because then you could just kind of take those ratios and figure out what you're going to need per square foot another question i've been getting i've been going on the insiders group quite a bit whenever we have extra time i'll get on there and see what's going on one of the questions i got the other day was you know how do i know how to mix according to what i'm doing uh, if you have any questions on like your volume for a river table, call in, we'll help you out. If you're doing a countertop project, it's three ounces per square foot per coat because it's going to be a non-porous substrate that you're going over. If you're doing raw wood, you're going to do three seal coats. It's one ounce first and then three ounces. So it will get a little technical as you're first starting out, but a big key tip is on all of our product descriptions. Mm -hmm. I have a video that goes along with that. Granted, those should be redone because they're kind of echoey, but that's okay. Uh, it really explains what each product's for right. and what it does and, and, and the ratios and things like that. But again, call anytime for free project support. Yeah, we also have a frequently asked questions. Yeah, so I got that. I wanted to mention something real quick. Make sure that you don't get sloppy with your mixing. Mixing is the most important part. You know, get the ratio right and then mix thoroughly, um, especially with the micas because sometimes they kind of can get stuck together. So just make sure you, you mix it. That was a little excessive, but that's okay because we were giving you information. So mom, mom was a critical part in our decision making on working time. So you've had the luxury of trying things uh, that, that I gave you that weren't so good with working time and you've You've had luxury of trying things that are, right? Yes, and it makes a huge difference. One thing, it takes just pressure off your creativity because you, the, I kind of got some wonderful stone coat that had a very short working time that he was able to kind of increase and worked on it and it was more difficult. Now... Mom was one of the beta testers on art coat, <laughs> yeah. right? But I did it, it's just you gotta work really fast and sometimes you maybe would do a little more and you're just not able to because it's, it was hardening up. But then I've done it with the new art coat and it's like night and day. Right. Yes. So again, when you're troweling this out, you can just simply move that in place where you need it. I'm not pushing all the way down with those teeth. I'm just working that material around. If I'm doing a big project, you're gonna leave it in a mass and then just start working it out and use that chop brush to get it so you can see how some spots are mm -hmm. more, more bare than others. So I'm just going to simply grab some of that and move it over here and get it more even that way. Right. And the mica flakes are so awesome because they really don't move, like they don't move. They're heavy enough that, you know, what you see is what you get. In, in most cases, I haven't really seen a much, much of that. So work it until you're happy with it. You know what I'm saying? If you see that an area is thin, like maybe right here, you can see that this area needs a little attention. Then go ahead and take something that's heavier and pick it up and put it over there. That's not a big deal. I'm going to grab a bunch of this mess off the ground. We had a pretty good question here, and it's uh, perfect timing. Okay. Can you color the epoxy and still use the mica flakes? You want to get that one, Mike? Uh, Mitch, you go ahead and explain that. That'd be, that go ahead. Back to Mitch. All right. So when you when you color the epoxy with either a metallic powder or a base color tint, it's going. Uh, and then you add a mica flake. That colored and tinted epoxy will cover up the mica flake more times than not. Always, if you mix it into it, it almost looks like chunks in the epoxy. It doesn't look quite right. If anybody, we've had customers do a metallic coat they really wanted those micas you got to let that dry come back with clear epoxy with some micas and put that on it that way it's going to take another coat of epoxy 
but you never want to mix base color tints and metallics and mica flakes in the same wet batch. It just never turns out right. Good, good answer to that. And something that I'm playing with here, I wasn't totally in love with this color. So I'm trying just sporadic splashes of color um, throughout the piece and it might be kind of interesting. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, this one looked a little dull. Yeah, I just, I wasn't, I wasn't in love with it. That's why I'm not making a giant piece, right? So right. we're picking color, we're testing, but see how I just put kind of splashes and then already I'm, I'm liking it better than I did. You know, now just, you don't have to sand between these. You do, you, you want to sand with 220 grit it's, it's because it will knock down some of those higher points, you know. Bumpy. I like it where that gold is yeah, sporadic right there. Yeah, I like right the there. gold. You and need the, to do the edges. Okay. Be a good shape. Add a little you, more of that gold. All right, you got it mom, why don't you do that? All right. Ooh, there's not too much. So Mitch, uh, will you do me a favor and let's get into that video that Chris and I previously made. Um, I wanted to show you, I wanted to tell you guys, we really take this show seriously because you are. Let us know in the comments below those, those things that you're looking for, ideas. Um, we gather a lot of our inspiration and ideas from you guys, our audience. We take it very seriously. And remember, stay tuned to the end of this video because we got a massive surprise that we wanted to just share with our audience. But with no further ado, check out what we've been working on the last two days. Hey guys, have you ever had paper furniture? You're about to see some made right now. We're gonna take this recycled paper and we're gonna apply it to this table in a way that'll make your jaw drop. Let's get started right now. I've seen some floors made with polyurethane and paper bags and I thought it'd be fun to take this Walmart table and some floor protection paper and marry the two. We're going to see what we can create using this technique. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. You know, one expression that my dad lives by and I've really adopted is nothing beats a failure but a try. So dad, this one's for you. We're trying the paper bag countertop right now. Hey guys, the key here with these strips is we really want to get them irregular on all sides. You don't want any one straight edge like a, a factory edge like this would be because that's going to look really man-made and fake. You just want everything to be an organic, pulled, peeled piece because that's going to make it look super cool. So all I'm doing now is just ripping enough paper so that when I mix the epoxy and start to lay it on my table, I have plenty to work with. I don't want to come back to this step as a sticky mess. If you were doing a big project, you definitely want to solicit the help of your buddies to tear a bunch of paper, have a paper tearing you know, party. Alright, so we're going to throw this down here. We're going to get some gloves on and start our, uh, start our board here. Now that I'm ready to attach the paper, I'm going to use our stone coat countertop epoxy. I'm going to mix about three ounces per square foot. What I'm going to do is mix this for about two minutes and I'm ready for the next step. On this next step, I'm going to pour about half of my mixed epoxy on the table and I'll use a shower squeegee to spread a nice thin layer. I'm also going to do a nice thin layer on those edges and I'm ready to start applying the paper. You wouldn't want to apply the paper and have any dry spots on the table. That's why it's good to put a thin layer out first. Now the rest of the epoxy that's still in my reservoir, that's what I'm going to use with my hands to coat the paper or, or lift paper or apply more epoxy where the pieces are going to overlap. As I was applying this, I was conscious of not going in the same pattern, not overlapping the same way. It, you don't want anything to the eye to appear as, as just generated on purpose that way. I like, I like it to be random and fun. This part was a labor of love. It, it was a little time consuming, but a lot of fun. It really came together as, a, as like almost a leathered project. It was really cool. I do have some voids like there on the corner, but I thought that might kind of look cool as a finished product. We're going to see. I'm torching out any of the air bubbles and I'm ready for the next step. Okay, the next step is to cut the excess paper off the edges so we can get ready for our final coats. We're using a 50 grit metal sanding disc after we've cut that with the razor knife so we get nice clean edges. 
We'll flip this over. We're going to use 220 grit sandpaper just to get some of those high points off so we get a great final coat. After we've sanded the surface with 220 grit, I'll also sand those edges with that same random orbital sander. Blow that dust off, take it back to your pour room, and you're ready to rock and roll. The surprise, and we're going to add some white metallic. All right. What's up, guys? Did you like that demonstration on how to take a Walmart table? What does this look? You haven't seen this yet, right? No. This, you can tell I went to high school in the 60s. This is the ultimate mod pod. <laughs> I can't believe he did that with a paper bag. Well, it was actually made out of construction paper that we tore, but the same yeah, concept, right? Yeah, I think right? what it looked like. It's yes. just like a... It, it, it looks like pieces of slate almost to me. I love it. What do you think, Kathy? I love it. I was in here a little bit earlier while they were playing with it, and my I was telling him, I th it reminds me of like a giraffe kind of it's that neat leather oh, right, right. right like it's like this leathered awesome deep color i just love do, it do you I think see it's the gorgeous. metallic that we sprayed in there over the top yeah, yeah. I you know love it that. just it just kind of settles and stuff like that we used right. quick coat on this about in about two hours ago was that about two hours ago chris that we used our quick coat that and seems right and then we uh, we sprayed that on so we're ready for our next step on this and my question is what do you guys think and i'm going to ask you too do you think it would be better to leave a thin coat where you still got some of these, some of the texture, like so you can tell it's it's got oh. highs and lows, or should we trowel it and try to do floods over it? No, I would let some of these indentations show. Right, that's what makes it unique. I, right. I, you know, you see the little divots. That's from the the alcohol, but right. you won't see that on this no, coat. Right. So, but it's just where like the the paper is. I leave those. All right, so then that means instead oh. of using our trowel, we're going to use our clear stone coat countertop epoxy. And we're gonna we're gonna do this with our hands. You oh. ready? I'm gonna show you how hard this is. You ready Mod for that? Podge and now finger painting. Yep. Here we go. Anybody can do this. Okay. There's our clear. And what do you guys think in the audience? You think that was the right call? Should we have just done a thin coat, or should we do a thick flood coat? What would you do if this was your project? You know, one of our oh. one of my. Oh, I wanted to say it too. The working time. We left it in the bucket, which you shouldn't do. But even if you do you still have working time, right? right? It's pretty amazing. But it's you, what's you about 70 in here, so. Yeah, it's perfect. So one of the things that, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you chose that, Mom, because one of the things that we get often is how can we make a textured piece? And we do have things coming in the future to kind of give you some ideas for that as well, but this is just kind of that oh, yeah. little introduction to Whoa. that with that. I just think this is so pretty. I love that leathered finish style look. You know, it's just amazing. This is a beautiful piece. So yeah, I mean, if I wanted this perfect and perfectly level, I'd oh, want to use our easy. square notch trowel, right? Sure. But because we don't we don't want that and we don't care, we're, we're going to just do it with our hands and not use as much material. Exactly. Exactly. Just take it maybe, what do you think, two ounces? Uh, probably. Yeah, we've probably Because we about... want to make sure to do, we don't want, we want to make sure to get those divots in there, but we still want to leave some of that texture. So instead of cutting it all the way to like a seal coat, you really want to do about two ounces per square foot. If you're going to want to leave that. You, with you, the know, texture. you know what else is cool about doing it with your hands? Oh, you're about to lose. Is, uh, make is sure it, you do this corner over it, here. If you're doing this with your hands, you totally don't need therapy <laughs> because this is therapeutic, man. Holy cow. Just don't just forget and here. push your glasses and up. Right there. Yeah. Make, Make sure that. that you do that beforehand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mom, do you want to torch that out? I know you're scared yeah. of that torch, but sure. you, you can do the it. Thing? There you go. That's perfect. Where's All the right, torch? Here, Mom. Oh, you know what we got to do first? Chop it. Yeah. Well, you mm -hmm. would, but I just did this with my hands, so we don't need no, it. No. Now no. move that move, move that sucker. Okay, here you go, Mama. You can do it. Not like that. <laughs> A little closer. A little bit closer. You're doing great, Mom. I want to show you a trick, Mom. Can I see it real quick? You so, can see so, it as long as you want. So, so you don't have to hold that button down the whole time. If you press both of these, it'll stay on. And then your hand doesn't have to be up here where you're uncomfortable. You can get back here. Okay? I do it with one hand like that. And then when you're ready, you just hit that. Oh. You want to try it like that? So I press this one and this one. And then let go. go. Yep. Oh, I like it, that. You like that? And then get the flame a lot closer. And just keep it moving. Yeah, a little slower. Perfect. You're, you're a pro. There you go. Whoa. 
Oh, you're yeah, a little, keep your little, little too slow, a little too slow. A little bit faster. Little Mom, bit you like got you're, this. You're spraying off the driveway, right? Or blowing your hair. I always like, think about it. Hey, I got my good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we get this one? Booyah. Ta-da! Look at that. Man, wow. That is, now that's an insider tip. That's cool. That is a cool project. Oh, nice. I love that tip you put on that winter video where make sure you hold on to the bucket when you're making a smaller amount with that drill. Because one time I didn't, and I was covered in it, and my table was. I don't think I ever told you about that mistake. I've done that. <laughs> We've all done that. Terrible. So hang on to that bucket. What <laughs> tips do you guys want in the next insider video? Let us know right. in the comments below. There we go. All right, let's let's go ahead and take care of one of these things. This is a surprise that I I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, Again, we're live, so there's a little bit of lag because I'm coming Sorry, over here. Sorry, we're coming. He's Mitch, coming. are you excited about this? Ooh. Yeah, you said you were doing this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I have a... You want to move a, up just Did a little bit? Did you get on new gloves? Because I want... Yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, going to do it. They're nope. already sticky. Okay, then you can't touch that. All right, give me another set of gloves. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, I'll get so, my yucky gloves. Uh, we're going to be doing a project with this piece of hardware that we're about to show you. We're going to do a really cool project coming up, but I just wanted to say a big thank you. Here, I'll help you. Um, Grab that. Mom, come over here Whoop. so you're not in the backdrop. Um, the reason we're coming up close is I just wanted to have you guys get a close-up look. This is really impressive. It's it's really cool. Um, well, we're really excited about it. I don't know if, if I don't know if everyone would think it's impressive, but we're excited. So we're gonna do that. You want to go on the other side? You part of the team? Go on behind you. Okay, then I'll go on this side. So okay. this okay. this here okay. came in the mail. This is uh this is because of you guys, okay? We uh we, we passed 100,000 subscribers and we did a show about that and we, we showed you guys you know what we, what we uh, gave, gave out for that and that was a cool show. So if you haven't seen the 100,000 extravaganza show, go check it out. Right. But I wanted you guys to see uh, our, our YouTube play button. Mitch, were you stoked about this award? Yes. Yeah, totally we, 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 we were waiting for it and now we have, what, 130,000 subscribers? Right. Yes. So. Our, our tribe, the Stone Coat tribe, is building because of you guys. So thank you for sharing and thank you for sharing and, and telling. And one thing that we've noticed is when people make something cool, they want to share it with their they friends, do. right? They right. do. So you you're gonna show you're gonna show this thing already. Is that what they're at? Do you guys want to see? Yeah, it? we want to see it. Oh, we want to see a black oh, box. box. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll open it. Here we go. Okay, you never careful. took this law at Christmas. I know. <laughs> right. I don't hear you. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna read the letter. I'm gonna read the letter. Oh, okay. okay. it says, you have just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplished. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. We hope you were a little entertained, but, um, <laughs> I, I know that people's lives um, are for real and that some people have really used um, our products to change their life and that wasn't really apparent um, in the beginning of this adventure, but it is now and we take that very seriously. So thank you and you guys know who you are. Um, you achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance and probably a healthy sense of humor too. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a few arguments along the way. A few arguments, yes. We are uh, married. It's all right. <laughs> uh, what you've accomplished can't be taken away from you. We would like to recognize you and all of your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. You guys do care. That's Thank why you're you. live tonight. Right on. Right. Um, and then it says, uh, believe us when we say we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers. What you do next? We just made a table out of paper. Right. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I wonder if they actually watch our videos and see. Like, they're like, what are they going to do next? That's fun. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think and we're really for you. Honestly, guys, we care about who's with us right now, right. and that's our philosophy. We'll treat each and every person that we can speak to the way we would want to treat all of you. So right. thank you for your support. Thank you for um, tuning in to tonight's live. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do, do, you, do, they, do you guys want to see it? Yes. Okay. But more importantly. All right. Let me get it up to that camera, Mitch. 
I need to say something too. Can right. I say one more thing? Yay. Yay. Yes, mom, get in there. I want you all here, to know. Here, come, come right here to the camera. That Scoot over. when Mike was oh, a young teen, he was really into motivational thoughts to keep him going. And it was back in the olden days, so I had books with motivational thoughts. I didn't have Google. And I would read and read and find some that I thought were really appropriate for him. His, he had a drive back then. And my most favorite was if you try harder than your hardest and do better than your best, at all that you do, you will be successful. And I am so proud of you. Love you, Mama. Until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops. You, you got, got this. this. We'll see you soon. Thank you for helping us grow. Oh wait, one we more really thing, Mitch. That. Oh, say it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, what I wanted to say is one of the things in that letter was talking about, you know, the future, and we really do appreciate you guys and helping us grow and getting that information out and sharing that because we really do want to change lives, and we hope that you do that for one another as well. Thank you. Uh, I love you, and thank, thank you. you for putting up with me. Oh, amen. Totally. Amen. Uh, amen. Chris, wait, Mitch. I, I got one more thing. Are you cool with that? You guys want to hear one more thing? Chris, can you give me that bag? Yeah. So can you, can you go get me a pair of scissors and give me that bag? So we got something really cool in store for you, and you guys are all going to be accomplices in this. It's totally, um, I don't know if it's legal, what we're about to do. This is going to oh, be crazy. Oh, brother. Can I go to the <laughs> No, this is going to be crazy. I need, I need a knife or Wait, something like that. Wait, there's a knife that. over there. Okay, Chris, going to get you scissors. I need you have You're looking like a bank. Oh yeah. Here. Oh yeah. This is Mitch. You have anything to say to to our subscribers while while um, I say we, you know, let, let's just here we talk go. about what's on your mind, Mitch. Or I guess oh, here we are. Here we are. Scissors are here. We're good to go. All right. So here Scissors I got. Talking. I got. It was hard to find um, a beanie right now because of the weather. It's so here, Captain. It's like 80 degrees hold outside. This, hold this tight for me. What the heck are you doing? Hold your eye out. All right, this you is guys got to be wondering what the heck is going on here. That's, that's good. Okay, let's but try just it. wait. Yeah. All right, take these. All right. All right, so Mitch and I have a really good plan. Let's see how this works here. Here we go. And now I've got our <laughs> glasses again. Okay, which so. Which will be even funnier. Okay, actually. I'll put these on so they don't know who I am. This is part of that entertainment mm -hmm. thing. All right, guys. <laughs> um, we may or may not. Be going over to a channel. Should I even say it? The, the say channel's it. initials are ATD. We think we're going to be able to hijack their channel. We've been having a hacker on their channel all day. They don't know it. We're about to hack ATD. If you want to see it, we well, should be over there. How long should it take? Another 15 minutes to hack in there, guys? Yep. All right. That's Stay it. tuned. Go, Get over to ATD. Here's we may or may not be taking over their channel tonight. Put it don't on make they won't know who we are, though. <laughs> no. Take your shirt. Look at your shirt. All right, Mitch. My hole's too big. <laughs> My hole's too big. They're going to know. <laughs> Until next time, from Stone Coke Countertops, you got, got this. this. Yes.